Okay, I'll make it really quick to the tavern. I... Oh god, it's raining really bad. Um, let's see, uh... Um, uh, hello? Are... Are you, are you okay? What? Um... Uh... Hey. They're in the same place I was. Uh, um, are... Are you okay? Do you, do you know where you are? Um, come with me. Uh, I'll I'll get you cleaned up and uh, into some shelter since it's raining. Okay. Uh, uh, my name's Izumi, by the way. Um, this place is um quite strange at first, but uh, I think you'll learn to like it a little bit more. Watch your step on the lily pads. Where am I? Um, this is Historia. Um, I'm still learning quite a bit about it myself, but from the research I've done, it seems like it's a world that's gone through a lot of, um, war between different species. Um, I'll explain how you got here once we get inside. I'd sit down if I were you. Thank you. Are, are you hungry at all? Uh, a little bit. Uh, here, uh, I have some potato soup. Thank you. Um. <sighs> where to start? Um. Okay. Well. Um. First and foremost. Um. As I said, my name's Yuzumi. Um. This is Historia. Uh, it's quite different from the world I came from, and I'm assuming it's quite different from where you come from as well. I... I will admit, <laughs> it's completely different. Yeah, um... Well, um... Historia is, um, a different realm. Uh, just like the universe we come from, I'm assuming it's the same universe, um, it's just like that, just we're, instead of on Earth, we're on a planet called Historia. Um, we got sent here by a race of goddesses that live here. I know it sounds insane, everything that I'm telling you, and take your time to kind of soak in all the information, because trust me, it'll make you go a little crazy if you think into it too much. Um, you and I aren't the only ones that got sent here from Earth. Um, there's a lot of people, actually, that got sent here. Um, there's uh, Svana and Naoma and Sierra and Jackie and Moon and, of course, um, Nixie. I, I call her Princess, though, because she was quite um, rich in her past life. Um, some things you may want to know. Um, first and foremost is... Uh, we can't die while we're here. If you die, you just get really close to death and then you wake up in your bed. So, um, no need to worry about that. Um, it does still hurt quite a lot though, so, uh, I'd keep your guard up. Uh, the little, little green guy outside, um, that's, that's an undead. Um, they, uh, they scour the nights. Um, uh, I can protect you for tonight. From them and stuff, so don't worry. Um, we'll be safe. Um, I've done quite a bit of training and research since I've gotten in this world, so don't worry. Um, I'll teach you everything I know. Um, as for uh, why we're here, um, there are a bunch of different races on this world, species, if you will, and they all have different attributes um, and live in different locations. So there's um, like fairies and elves and crossling, which I don't know if your head hurts at all with them from those horns on them, but um, those what? Yeah, uh, you 
Do you see my cat ears on my head? Uh, yeah, I've kind of been staring at them for the past five minutes. <laughs> yeah, uh, you gained ears and horns. Uh, it kind of looks like maybe like a... Like a cow, maybe? The, that That's a trait of a crossling. Uh, it's any humanoid creature, whether it be an elf or a human or whatever, um, mixed with an animal of some sort. So I am a cat crossling, and apparently you are a cow crossling. This is so weird. Yeah, it just keeps getting weirder. So um, there's also vampires. Like Edward and Bella vampires. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah. Um, they're kind of nocturnal, so we don't really worry about them all that much, but there are vampires, and they're not all bad, but there is a royal bloodline of vampires that is using their power- Buddy, will you leave me alone? Anyways, um, there's a bloodline of vampires that have been using their powers for bad for about over a hundred years now. I don't actually know the exact date that it started. I can't find that exact date anywhere, and I think that's just a nod to how absurd this entire world's history is, and how no one keeps track of anything, but regardless, um, oh my god, they're driving me insane out there. One second. Oh god, oh god. Um, okay, uh, so, um, there's a- there's a few more than I thought there were. Um, I'm gonna eat up and, uh, just, just one moment. Don't worry, they can't get inside. They're not smart enough. Oh god. <sighs> um. The little ones are fast. Uh, here, um... Oh, God. Okay. Okay. I've gotten a lot faster, that's for sure. Did help. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Not a problem. Ugh. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, there's a bloodline of vampires that basically have been abusing their power over the nice vampire civilians, and the nice vampire civilians are pretty fed up with it, and um, they asked for help from the overworld, but the overworld wouldn't give it. This is the first time in history that the goddesses have interfered since first creating all the races that live, quote-unquote, harmoniously in this world. Do you have any questions? Yeah, I, I have way too many questions i i'm sorry um it's it's okay um it's a lot to take in and trust me i got really really um paranoid about everything i thought i was dead for a little while many people thought they were dead for a little while and that this was heaven but um i i was, I was just this doesn't make any sense i'm sorry it's just like i was i was with my dad we were we were just preparing for dinner and then I don't even know what happened I just I wake up here with horns and ears and it's, this it, it's been and, a long it's been a long day I understand and I um, if you want you can get some rest upstairs I don't know how you got here later than I did um everyone else got here at the same time but um just know that if if you ever freak out or feel like you're alone, you can come to me at any time. Um, there's a library that basically has the whole history of the world that has made it make a lot more sense to me. And maybe it would help for you too. I actually, I work there, so 
feel free to stop by any time and um you can stay here as long as you'd like there's also an old base i used to live in with a couple of my friends who also got teleported here they're really sweet and they um they'd be more than happy to have you stay there as well anyways um do, do you want to rest up a little bit please okay are you comfortable with me sleeping in the same bed as you yeah i i don't mind okay no, I, I know it's been a long day, so I don't know how long it'll take you to fall asleep and stuff, but if you're able to sleep, um, I know it will help you to face tomorrow a little bit easier, you know? Yeah. <sighs> mm. oh, okay, uh... Good morning. Morning. Um, anyways, um, so I, I know you, I, I know you, uh, are quite confused about everything. And rightfully so, um, I get it completely. Um, but, um, as crosslings, uh, we actually have certain innate abilities that get heightened. Um, for me, it's my hearing because of my ears. If you find out what your ability is, let me know, and um, I would like to keep track of everyone's, because apparently the historians here didn't do a very good job keeping track of what all the crosslings can do. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, I want to learn um, and teach others how they work. So if anyone else gets dragged here, uh, they have more stuff to go off of. Mm -hmm. Anyways, um, if you want, uh, we can head over to, uh, the tavern. Uh, there's a barkeep. Um, his name is Willard, and he helped me and my friends out when we first got stuck here a lot. Um, he gave us weapons. Well, he had his friend give us weapons. Um, his friend is not someone I would recommend meeting immediately. Um, he's just a little, uh, uptight to say the least um but willard is very sweet um he's kind of like the group's grandfather so if you'd like we can go meet him uh, okay awesome uh maybe he can explain what's happening more uh he doesn't know about us by the way he doesn't know where we're from so i'd probably keep the whole realm shifting on a down low um but he does know a lot about the town, and he knows we're not from here, so, uh, he can at least, you know, explain stuff better than I can, uh, cause he's lived here for however long. Seemingly, he's been here for a while since he knows, like, everyone, and everyone owes him some sort of favor, so he, he tends to check in favors for when people need them, like us. I see. Apparently, his old crew back in the day reminds him of the group that got teleported here, so... How many Maybe. of us are there? Uh, let's see, there's, uh... Svana, Naoma, uh, Moon, Nixi... Now you... Me... Uh, Jackie... Sierra... Um... I think there's about, like, seven of us? I might be miscounting, though. Okay. Yeah, um, apparently, um, the seven of us were deemed pure of heart and, um, were chosen to get teleported here, um, uh, because we can apparently inherit abilities that normal people on this planet, uh, can't. So they think that we stand at more of a chance to defeat the vampire king than they do. Ugh. Oh, sorry. It's okay. I I know you've how how long does it feel like it's been since you were on Earth? Like when was the last time like I felt like I was back home? Yeah. Um I don't know. I I honestly I lose track of time when I'm sleepy, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay, um you seemed a lot more awake last night. Uh, do you... 
do cows sleep during the day? I don't, I don't. Um. Well, uh, if if you need to take a nap, let me know, okay? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> um, as for uh, how long you felt like you've been, how long it's felt like it's been since you were on Earth, I I assume. It's been at least about two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah. Um, it, I got teleported here about two weeks ago, as well as everyone else, and you're the only person we've seen since then, and unless you got teleported later, I... I, I would need to talk to Spawn about this, because she knows a lot about... Like, she used to be a detective and stuff like that, so she, she would be able to look into it more and kind of connect the dots better than I can, but... It kind of feels like you might have been stuck between here and Earth for, like, two weeks. Oh. Yeah. So... So I, I didn't come here at the same time everybody else did. No, not really. Um, but that's okay. Um, I, 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 I know that you'll still be able to, you know figure everything out just as well as the rest of us. I mean, all of us were pretty much <laughs> destroyed when we got here. Uh, not physically, but just mentally. We started to turn on each other at one point, and that was a mess. And We ended up being able to find our way to a middle ground with everyone and figure out what worked best. Anyways, some uh, mm -hmm. oh, Willard! <laughs> hello, hello! Welcome back, Azumi! Oh, who? Who's this lady? She's from where I'm from, um, as well oh. as the rest of the group. Uh, she doesn't know her way around, and I was hoping maybe um, you could be a warm welcome to the town for oh. her. Well, you've come to the right place. What can I do you for? <laughs> um, well, I was thinking maybe you could explain how the uh, currency and stuff like that works, and maybe um, oh. why there's monsters at night. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> well, uh, I, I can spread a bit of knowledge. <clears throat> well, uh, the currency works about like this. There's emeralds and then there's amethyst shards. Amethyst shards are far more expensive than emeralds. Emeralds typically go for, uh, say, about uh, 64 emeralds for one amethyst shard. So quite the value difference there. But uh, you can, uh, whether you'd like to do a bit of fishing, or you could, uh, let's see, you could go hunting, uh, you could go down into the mines and mine for things, you could kill the monsters that roam underground or on the overworld once, uh, it's nighttime. There's a lot of ways that you could acquire money. Is, uh, is cow farming an option? Uh, well, yeah, yes, you, you can farm cow, uh, typically it would be either given out the leather or the uh, the beef that comes off them. Okay. But uh, other than that, um, I'm not sure what else. If you have any other questions for uh, what you'd like to know about the currency, by all means, ask me. Um, but as for why there's monsters in the night, well, uh, I wish I had a solid answer for you. It's been that way ever since I was a child. Well, probably far before that, to be completely honest. Uh, I don't have much a clue. I know the undead and the skeletons, they... They don't do well in the sunshine, so... They tend to like the night. There's but as more... for where they come from... There's more than the undead? Oh, yeah. well, yes. There's, the. Uh, there's the undead, there's the also undead, but they're skeletons, so they don't have much meat on their bones. Now there's the also, there's these green monstrous things that like to sneak up on you and hiss at you and and, and uh, explode. It, it's, uh, yes, you're right to be a little cautious about them. They're tricky buggers. Um, also, there's the the uh, spiders, uh, uh, but yeah, there's giant spiders. I'm not. I'm not a fan of them. Um, what? They can climb best things. Best I. I feel like. I feel like it's worse than Australia at this point, and it's 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 
it's not it's not good um i i i'm really hoping that i can invest in some sort of pest control system later on because it's genuinely terrifying to me anyways um yeah, so uh, you see your best bet, at least during the night time, is uh, definitely stay indoors. Uh, and if you're gonna go down into the mines and the caverns down below, I'd recommend you get yourself a weapon. If you can't make one for yourself, we've got a nice blacksmith uh, who would, uh, well, he'll make you something. He might, might give you a bit of trouble for it, though. <laughs> yeah, that's the guy I was telling you about earlier. <laughs> well, thank you what? for explaining the currency and the monsters and stuff. Um, uh, can you get us some food? I'll pay. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Uh, what wh could I get you? Um, well, uh, I, I'd i like... Um, do you have, like, a... Do you have... Hmm. <laughs> do you have a, a soup? A soup sounds good. A uh, soup. Uh, I can do potato, leek, or beetroot. Um, leek. Sounds good. Alright, leek soup. How much would you like? Um, just two. Alright, uh, two leek soup. I can definitely do that for you. Uh, here you are. Uh, that'll be two, no, uh, sorry, wrong conversions, four emeralds. Okay. Alright, there you and go. And then you can get whatever and, you uh, like, I'll, I'll pay. Um... I'd like a potato soup, please. A potato soup? Well, <laughs> I suppose I can do that. Let me see if I remember. I believe I have some downstairs. Ah. <laughs> That's Willard. He's quite the character, um, but he's very sweet. And um, if you stay at the tavern, he gives you a very warm good morning. So. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, potato soup. How much would you like? Uh, just one. Oh, just one. Well, all right then. Suppose I can oblige. Uh, here you go. That'll be two emeralds. Here you go. Two. Awesome. Well, thank you. And oh, here's your bowl back, by the way. Oh, <laughs> well, thank you. Here, I'll actually give you this one. Oh, there's no ball. Just kidding. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. That's all right. Uh, don't worry about it. I've got plenty. I'll just uh, toss this. Can cows eat dishwasher. bowls? Is that, is that what I'm learning right now? You know, they might. <laughs> it depends on what material the bowl is made of. <laughs> I mean, I I didn't expect it to be that easily bitten, but I mean, hey, it, if, if, if it works, it works. Protein, yeah. right? Yeah, this is very tasty. <laughs> Yum. Well, um, if you don't mind, uh, I don't believe I got your name. Molly. My name's Molly. Oh. Well, it's very nice to meet you, Molly. Uh, I know Izumi went ahead and introduced me, but my name is Willard. Nice to meet you. Of course. <laughs> well, is there anything else I can get you ladies? Um, uh... Do you have anything that um, can make this world kind of not feel as scary? Maybe some alcohol of some sorts? <laughs> I like the way you think. You want the strong <laughs> stuff, don't you? Sure. <laughs> if you want, we can just kind of stay in here a little bit and over by the fire warm up before um, we have to go out into the cold, monstrous night. All right. <laughs> So, um, what was your life like before? Honestly, a little bit simple. I mean, I guess I... <laughs> I lived in the countryside um, with hmm. my pops. Um, I used to farm a lot. Um, I used to tend to the cows a lot, which is kind of funny. Um... <laughs> We had cows, sheep, pigs, chickens. Don't like those things. Um, oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. What do you got for us, Willard? All right. I got you some of the strong stuff. Okay. 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 Oh, it, it literally is called the strong stuff. Here you go. Whoa. Um, All right. How, how, 10 emeralds. Okay, cool. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go. Uh, Ooh, is it okay boy. if we just uh, hang out by the fire a little bit before we have to go back out into the cold? Oh, completely. Um, if you need me, uh, I don't know. Knock on the countertop. I gotta go down into the, into the taverns. Uh, well, the cellar, and do a bit of maintenance and inventory. <laughs> okay, Willard. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. <sighs> well, I guess I. I'll try some. Bottoms up, I guess. <laughs> Oof. <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh, God. That is. <coughs> Burns. Oh, Burns. Let me see. I don't know what the drinking age is here, but I feel like I'm too young for that. <laughs> Tastes fine to me. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> we have to drink some around around town. It's never too strong liquor, but I do a bit of tasting back at home. Uh, well, uh, damn, okay. I guess I'm a lightweight <laughs> then. Uh, God. <laughs> uh, well, anyways. Um, I am sorry you got dragged into this too. And I really hope no one else is stuck in the realm between realms. That's that's just what I'm going to call it from now on, I guess. Because um, it, it sounds like you were kind of in, like, a coma for the past two weeks. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't remember anything except seeing this light thing, and then I woke up here. Hmm. Well... Regardless, I I'm glad you made it through, if that's any consolation, rather than just being stuck there. Yeah. And uh, we have no clue how time works on Earth compared to here, so for all we know, we haven't been gone for any time for our loved ones. If that makes you feel any better. I, I suppose. <laughs> <sighs> well, uh... Anyways, um, if you want, uh, tomorrow morning I can show you to the old base that me and some of the other girls had. Um, oh, by the way, we're all, we're all of the f female variety. I don't know if it's just a, um, the goddesses favoriting women or something, but all the, all the people that got chosen, or the fallen stars, I think they called us, uh, they're all girls, so... If that makes you feel safe living with any one of them, they, they're they very sweet, all of them, so. Alright. But, yeah, I, I can show you to the old base tomorrow. Okay. Uh, and you can stay wherever you'd like, or you can go off on your own. I mean, I'm not going to judge regardless what you do, but I will say you might want to stay somewhat close to town because of how many monsters there are. Alright. Anyways, um... Um, we could probably ask Willard if you want to stay the night here. I think that'd be nice. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead. Uh, Willard! Excuse me! Knock, knock! What's with the ruckus? Uh, y you told- uh, uh, Have you been having some of the strong stuff? Willard! Drink it from your own supply? Uh, uh, whatever. <laughs> uh, what can I get- you. <laughs> <laughs> um, how much for us to stay the night? Oh, <clears throat> oh that'll be only five emeralds. Well, one, two, three, person. four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Would you also like your bottle back as currency? <laughs> uh, sure. There you go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all right, there we go. I'll <laughs> put these in the sink. Uh, anyways, uh, we're gonna go sleep upstairs. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Willard. Thank Ta -ta. you. You're welcome, you're welcome. Um, I think this room is just a two-person room, so I think this will be the perfect size for us. Yeah. Okay. This is the room that me and Nixie slept in our first night we stayed here. Wow. Mm 
So, hey, good morning. No morning. I want more sleep. <laughs> Sorry, but um, uh, if you want to sleep in, I recommend you find a place to permanently stay. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Ding, 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 breakfast time, breakfast time. Uh, oh, did I wake you? No, sir. All right, no, well. You're good. If you'd like to follow me down to the bar, breakfast is, of course, complimentary with the stay overnight. So what can I get you? Uh, I'd like... Toast with jam, if you have that. All right, toast with jam. And what can I get for you, Molly? Um, do you have, um, toast and eggs? Toast and eggs. Well, I'm sure I can get you something similar. Let's see here. Uh... <laughs> How about a bit of toast and scrambled eggs? Yeah. That sounds good. All right. And uh, there you go. All right. So here's your toast with jam. And thank you. here's some toast and some scrambled eggs. Oh, thank you. Oh, I took your stuff. There you go. You want some okay. toast with eggs? <laughs> <laughs> okay. There you go. <laughs> thank you. Okay. So I'm a thief. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Willard. Of Thank course, you. of course. God, my head hurts after that drink last night. <laughs> A light word. Oh, that's okay. I feel good. I'll I'm just it, I tired. <laughs> uh, uh, thank you, Willard, for everything. Of a lot. course, you're welcome. <laughs> I wouldn't be a good barkeep if I couldn't take care of a couple customers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you told me about your dad. Um, I I'm sorry if it's a sore subject and you don't want to talk about it if you don't want to, but do you know about your mom? Um, a little. My dad doesn't like to talk about her as much. Um, hmm. he usually reserves to himself sometimes when it comes to that, but I heard that she looks like me. Oh, that's that's sweet. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, you ready to get on the road? Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you, Willard. We're heading out now. All right. Have a nice Bye. time. Bye. Bye. We'll do. Oh, oh gosh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. That's okay. Oh, okay. I got, I got him. I got an arrow. You, you got an arrow. You got an arrow in your face. Are you? Okay? Oh no. Um, ow! Uh, the nice thing about being a fallen star is I'm pretty sure that it doesn't leave a scar. I'll pull it out later. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, if you wouldn't mind following me. But oh God, that did not help my headache. Oh, gosh. Uh. Uh, anyways. This no death thing is no joke. Yeah. I feel like I would be bleeding out by now if it was. Okay. So, um, there's not really a path to the old base. Kind of just cut through uh, the grass to get there. And if you need, you can take a nap when we get there, because I could tell you were. Uh, ooh, the snow! I can tell you were quite sleepy this morning. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I just tripped. Okay. Okay. Um, also, uh, are you allergic to cats? No. Okay, that's a good thing, because, um, Princess, um, she, 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 she has a lot of cats. I see. Whoa. <laughs> uh, 
uh, you are more than welcome to sleep in the bed designated for me. We can make you another bed as well in the future. All right. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. Um, you are more than welcome to take any resources that are in the big chests. The little chests, though, are for specific people, so I wouldn't rummage through those if I were you. Okay. Uh, as for the cats, um, they, they they just meow a lot. They're, they're really not a bother once you get used to them. <laughs> Okay. They are quite cute, though. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, if you want to stay here and take a nap, you can, because I know it's raining outside, so probably be nice for you to sleep a little bit, but if you would like to stay up, I'm going to go get wood from the forest if you'd like to join me. All right. Um, I think I could tag along. I'm feeling not as tired, but... Okay, I'll go ahead and make you a pickaxe real quick. Not pickaxe, an axe. Um, I don't have enough iron to make you an iron one, but here's a stone one. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Oh, did it stop raining? Or is it still raining? Uh, it's still raining. Oh yeah, it is. I just couldn't see it. <laughs> ah. It's quite the obstacle course to get out of here. There you go. <laughs> <sighs> the trip actually over to the forest area that I like to chop down what is actually quite pretty. And let me know if I need to slow down at all if you start losing me. I... faster than I think I am. <laughs> I think it's because I've been training mixed with the fact that I'm half cat. Mm. Oh, if you need to learn any sword skills, um... Uh, Spawn is actually kind of a natural with swords um and uh Nixie, she used to take fencing lessons when she was little so uh you can ask either of them for help and i'm learning a little bit i'm still not as good as them though i see <laughs> wait so if i'm if i'm part cow doesn't mean you guys are gonna eat me right because i i, I know how good <laughs> no, 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 no 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 there's also a half deer girl we would never we would never okay Oh, god. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't tell me I'm gonna make milk either. That's uh, no, like... no. Oh god. Uh, yeah. Uh, no. Mm, no. Mm, mm, no. No. I, I think. I think. If that if that's the special ability you unlock, you can keep that to yourself all you I need. don't, don't, don't want that ability. That. I think I'd rather <laughs> just stick to being tired in the morning. I. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I. I don't blame you. If you uh, get lost at any point, by the way, um, feel free to ask anyone for directions. Everyone here is pretty nice about letting you know where things are. Um, and uh, I'm starting to figure out where I am and where everything else is. i still a little rusty with directions, though. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna go through uh, the mushroom area. I think it's uh, called Mushroom Manor, if I'm remembering correctly. It's actually really cool. There's this specific uh, species of like fairies and like elven type creatures that are really short and they wear little mushroom caps as hats and they're called mushroom nymphs and they live in this little area. <laughs> You're now entering Mushroom Manors, yes. There are also some small little mushroom houses in this area for sale. <laughs> oh, do, 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 do. It's okay, I got it. <laughs> Trust me, I um in back on Earth, um, I wouldn't even kill a spider if it was the size of like a crumb. I hated spiders, and I guess exposure therapy actually does work because um I, I can I can slice one in half now until it dissipates into nothing. 
I I see. <sighs> yeah. Um. It's strange, to say the least. <sighs> they're little hobbit hole houses as well over here, but I'm pretty sure they're all taken. Mm -hmm. But they're really cute. Whoa. <laughs> this leads to the forest. And now everything from here on is basically free land to do with what you please. Whoa. Wait, there's... <gasps> There's all different types of fruit trees around here, too. Wow. Uh, Neoma actually at her base has a couple different, I'm pretty sure. She's, like, collecting them, <laughs> it seems. <laughs> the main wood I need to collect is birch, so I think it's past over here. There's also a bunch of flowers up here. <laughs> as scary as it is being taken to another world we know nothing about, at least it's a pretty one. Yeah. It's strange. I. This world doesn't feel like a threat, and yet we've been sent here to stop them. What's this? Uh, here. Where are you? Um, I'm sorry. I'm right behind you. Oh, hi. Is this thing? Oh, that's a beehive. Um, I wouldn't... <gasps> uh, just try not to accidentally hurt them and you'll be fine. What happens if you hurt them? They attack you. In a swarm. Aw, they wouldn't hurt me. Look at this cute little guy. Um... Yeah, no, I think you should run. I was trying to pet it. I didn't know they didn't it's, like this. I think you hurt its. I think you hurt its wing. Um, I didn't mean it to. I was trying to pet it. It was so cute. Oh, piggy, is it still chasing? <laughs> Are they nice? Don't be mean. They're 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 mean. They're mean. Um, they're mean. They're very mean. Oh God, am I gonna have to kill some bees over? No, this? don't kill the bees. I. Just... <laughs> Are they still angry? <laughs> oh, they're right um, there. Oh, what they're happy. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think they're good now. I won't pet a bee. I, <laughs> I think I learned my lesson to not. Yeah. I think they're a little too fragile for you to pet I them. I think they're very fragile. <laughs> <sighs> There's a lot of fruits here. Cherry, lemon, nectarine. <laughs> I want to get some more fruit for outside of my house. Right now I only have strawberries. I think I have blueberries and I have potatoes. Wait, so we could just chop down any tree we want? Yeah, as long as you, like, replant the saplings and stuff, you're fine. All right. Ooh, I got tea seeds. Oh, I wonder if I can... So, funny thing about this world, actually, um... I, since I work in the library, have been doing a lot of research about the world, and, well, um, <gasps> I found a book recently on magic and sorcery. Uh, that is a mom chicken. That is a mommy chicken! That is a mom- Hey. That is a little baby and mommy chicken. Look, oh, what's that behind you? Look at the pretty purple flowers! It's okay. It's, it won't hurt you. Did you get, like, hurt? Um, Did you get trauma? When I was a kid, I used to tend to the chickens, and there's a reason why I don't anymore, because the hens and the roosters were very mean, and they used to peck at me. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm not a fan of birds. They, they usually attack me, even though I just stand there. <laughs> well, I think these are nicer. They look demonic to me. Mm, I see, I see. Well, as I was saying before the chickens, 
uh, I got some tea leaves, and in a book I've been reading recently about magic and sorcery, I learned how to make, like, basic, like, tea to drink that also has, like, magic properties, mm -hmm. and I'm genuinely, like, kind of wanting to look into that, because if I can, like, help people and, like, give people more abilities through the, you know, teas and stuff, that'd be, that'd be great. Mm-hmm. I'll let you know if I figure out how to do it, and then um, I'll let you know. Uh... Hello, friend. <laughs> I won't hurt you. Let's talk about it. You want an arrow? Here, you can have the arrow. You didn't want the arrow. Can I kill him? If you'd like, you can. You didn't take my gift. I'm so sorry. No, nope, come here. I'm sorry, little pig. I I'm so sorry. Yeah! She's a crazy cow woman, and she's come to take your meat. You ever had good bacon before? I got an apple! Yeah. Ooh! That's a big apple. That's a big apple. <laughs> <laughs> that's like the size of your face. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This apple is my prized possession. I got some vivacious apples in this world. <laughs> oh, it's uh, starting to get sunset. We probably should head home. All right. Ooh, so many more big apples. <laughs> Do you remember the way out of the forest? Uh, just gotta go through the bridge. Whatever yes. that is. Hello, friendly bee. I will not touch because I love you. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Do you think the, 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 the barkeep would like an apricot? You could totally give it to him. Uh, we probably want to go tomorrow, though, because yeah. we bothered him pretty late last night. I guarantee you he's pretty tired. <laughs> Okay, we have two options. We can either swim across the water and get to my house, or we can go the actual path, but it takes a while. Water it is! <laughs> I like how you think. Oh, it's cold. Yeah, I thought it would be... I didn't, I didn't think about the fact that we don't like instant dry, though. Ugh. <sighs> I need a fireplace for my house. <laughs> okay, uh, you want to rest up upstairs? I think I'm okay. If you would like to, that, that, that's alright. I'm just gonna sit. 